thanks for coming back. As it is the holiday season, it's also my favorite time of year. I wanted to put together a very simple yet classic holiday look for you guys. I used my new Bare Minerals Magic Act palette. This was a holiday set and it is my favorite holiday set because it has the perfect combination of eyeshadows and blushes, which I love. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, then keep watching and I'll see you next time. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. We're going to open it up. And as you can see, it has a row of nice solid powders, eyeshadows, as well as another row of blushes and we actually have a highlighter right here which I think is awesome and if you also notice each eyeshadow is numbered along with the name as well as the highlighter and blush with this palette they actually have a nice little tutorial on here for you for anybody who needs a little bit of help on how to apply each shadow they want to utilize the palette best as well as where to put the blushes and the highlighters so I thought that was super super cool in order for those people to kind of beginner type deal so this palette is awesome it folds up like I showed like so so it's really compact and in it's really really cute special edition packaging which I feel is very chic of Bare Minerals the black and white now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I already did my brows and my face just to kind of save some time. I'm going to take my 224 Fluffy Brush by MAC, blush the close call, dust that all over my crease area. Actually really digging this pumped shadow here, which is a nice brown with some gold flecks in it. I'm actually going to take that color next. And with my BH Cosmetics Tapered Dome Brush, I'm going to dip that in and hit my outer corner to kind of intensify the close call. And I really like this brush, the fact that it's tapered, because it seems to just settle into that crease area really nicely when applying the shadow. I'm going to take number four here. This AHA shadow is what it's called. And with the other side of my Naked 2 Urban Decay, I'm, it's just a flat shader brush. I'm going to dip that in and that's going to go all along my lid area. It is Aha, uh -huh, very shimmery. I like it. Got a nice metallic finish. And it seems the more you pack on, the more shiny. Actually going to take a little bit more of close call and blend that fairly nicely into the highlighter we just put on. This color here, which is the very last shadow there, and it's called foreshadow. And it's a nice chocolate brown, a matte chocolate brown. And I'm taking that tapered dome brush, and this one's actually by Stila, and I'm really just kind of smoking that in there. On the outer corners, and blending in. Next up, I have my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And with my hard angled brush, 
I'm going to wing out my eyes, which if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you've seen me do multiple times. So I'm just going to kind of skip ahead. Okay, now that that's done, I'm taking my favorite mascara, Great Lash, lots of lashes, and I'm going to apply a coat to both of my lashes. Now moving on to my lower lashes, I again want to have a smokier look, so I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Tapered Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm going to dip it back into that dark shadow foreshadow. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line with it. And you also want to make sure you blend this out very nicely. And then for my inner tear duct, I'm taking another flat shadow brush and I'm going back in with Celebrate. And apply one more coat with my mascara to my lower lashes. So I'll see you in a sec. So to smoke it out furthermore, I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in zero, and I'm just going to tight line my waterline. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to set my highlighter with my Mineral Veil. And with my BH Cosmetics Fluffy Brush, I'm going to just swirl that into the product. And I'm going to set my highlighter. And at the same token, the reason why I wait to set my highlighter is because it also helps to take care of any fallout from the eyeshadow that I had. Next, I'm taking Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and with my e.l.f. blush brush, I'm going to apply this right underneath my cheekbones. And this is one of my favorite blushes. I'm going to be taking The Natural High by Bare Minerals. Favorite blush brush going to hit the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to take that nice highlighter which is called the Premier and with my fan brush going to dip that in there. And hit the top of my cheekbones. And this is actually a very nice iridescent color, very sheen. Gives a nice hint of sparkle, which I like. So for my lips, I'm going to be taking NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the color Antwerp. It's a weird name, but it's this nice rosy pink.
Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna change and let my hair down. I'm also even gonna apply falsies to kind of pull the whole look together. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, so that about does it. I just changed into a nice comfortable button up floral and I gave myself a little bit of a loose wave, something very subtle and airy that I feel complements the makeup that we just did. So I hope you guys enjoy. Happy holidays and I'll see you next time.